Hey there, folks. Greg Shepard here, SNA Financial Services. For those of you that don't know me, I specialize in helping folks just like yourself in higher education get the most out of that oftentimes confusing higher ed retirement plan, specifically those TIA accounts. I've said that a time or two before. Um, okay. How do I want to start this? Okay. So let's, let's <laughs> let me start off with this. Uh, anytime I run, I, I've told you in videos prior, anytime I run across um, a scenario, a situation I think would be uh, pertinent to the masses, I like to share it with you. Unfortunately, uh, there's mistakes made out there, but if I voice those mistakes, hopefully somebody else doesn't go down that path. Now, this mistake, I use that word a little, I don't know if it's a mistake. Let me, instead of him and hawing, let me tell you what's going on. So we're, we're discussing lifetime income annuity options with TIAA, okay? So this was under my house here. I mean, not personally, but a client of mine. So I had a client of mine, um, I known her for 15 years, right? Pretty close with her. And she was in higher education with Tia, retired, right? We chose to take those monies, as I do a lot of times, and roll it over to an IRA, and then extract from those monies from the IRA as she needs, as, she, as her income is needed, right? Uh, husband passed away. The reason I bring that up is that he was kind of in, not kind of, he was in charge of paying bills and finances, and she really didn't have much to do with that. So what happened is, man, she started, the, the, the spigot turned on and she started spending that money like it was nobody's business, okay? Um, then what happened is the children got in on the spending spree and it became a big, it, it is now and has been a big problem. Um, I can only, you know, you can, what is it? You can lead a horse to water, but you can't make a drink. What I mean by that is that I've, I've exhausted my, 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 um, my, my input, I guess, if you will, on, you know, I'm very black and white. You know, there's only so much I can do to tell her not to spend her money, but it's her money. It's accessible. It's liquid. So she can take out as much as she wants, whenever she wants. And the kids aren't going to stop her. They're just adding to the problem. She will run out of money if she continues to do this, go down this path. Point here is kind of two points. Uh, anytime you retire, okay, you need a plan in place in terms of how much money you take from that IRA, typically an IRA, okay? Um, you can you can vary from that plan a little bit, but make sure when you vary from that plan, there's still a plan in place, okay? You know, one-off expenses, not a big deal. But when you start taking out thousands of dollars per month more than what you're projected, that's a problem. Now, so hindsight, of course, I, I, you can't foresee somebody passing away and the things that evolve, you know, just in everyday life, much less the kids coming in and sucking this money dry, which, as you can tell, kind of irritates me. Um, hindsight, I guess we should have done a lifetime income annuity option. That would have been a fixed amount of money paid to her monthly, and it's not, it's not liquid, it, it, essentially. She can't access more. There's a lot of cons to lifetime income annuity options. There are some pros. So if you're out there um, and, and somehow maybe you're, you're, you're uh, rationalizing or you're, you're being uh, reality sets in with the knowledge that you're going to spend money, you, you know, you have a tendency to spend more money than you should. OK, a lot more then maybe a lifetime income annuity option is going to be a best bet. Uh, maybe uh, your kids are dependent upon you monetarily to protect yourself at retirement. OK. Now, not everybody, there's a lot of situations, but kids become grown, they become adults, they need to fend for themselves, all right? And, and in this case, not going to mommy and daddy for everyday expenses, everyday expenses. Um, if you're afraid that's going to happen, okay, lifetime income annuity option might be a good situation or, or um, yeah, good scenario for your situation, okay? So it really, it, it kind of broke my heart seeing this situation uh, transpire, but nonetheless, it did. So again, lifetime income annuity option. Uh, there's other reasons why it could make sense, but one is you're, you don't trust yourself with the monthly payments. And two, maybe you have some children that are dependent upon you and um, yeah, you wanna protect yourself, which makes sense, okay, folks. Um, but again, 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 <laughs> have a plan in place when you retire, especially when you have those liquid monies in the IRA. Don't divvy, don't, don't vary from the plan too much. Even if you do, it shouldn't be that big of a deal. But okay, I've I've said enough here. All right, folks. Greg Shepard here, SNA Financial Services. Hey, go out and have a good one. All right, take care. Bye bye.